Welcome back everyone. It's Mindy here today for Lawn Fawn and in today's video I'm going to be creating this really fun scene using the center picture window die and the center picture window add-on die. So you can see we're going to have this really great on the beach scene and we're also going to be decorating the front of the card as well and I really had a lot of fun putting this cute card together. To start my card, I'm going to be coloring in some images. So on this cardstock that I have here, I already stamped out some images from On the Beach stamp set and Smooth Sailing. I had a rough idea of what I wanted to go uh, into this card when I had first started it. I didn't end up using all of the images, so I didn't show all of the coloring here just because it did take a little bit longer uh, to put the card together. So I wanted to make sure I had included all of that in this video for you. But I am starting out with the fox that's laying on the beach, and this one is from On the Beach stamp set. I started out with the darkest color, which is E37, and then I blended out with a YR27. I came in with a YR68 and then a YR21, and you can see I'm doing a little bit of tip-to-tip -tip coloring because those were kind of some drastic colors between the two, the YR68 and YR21. So going tip to tip like that just helps blend that better a little bit. And then I did go back over it again a second time to help smooth out that blend a little bit more. But I wanted a nice highlight area on the belly and on the forehead there uh, from the sun. I knew the sun would be shining down on the fox. So next I'm going to move on to the bear. This is also from On the Beach. I didn't end up using this bear, but he was so cute. I just had to include this in here. So I did E57, E35, and E33 for my colors. And this is the Lawn Fawn white cardstock that I'm coloring on, and I stamped it in the Lawn Fawn jet black ink because that is Copic friendly. So once I added my uh, dark, medium, and highlight color, instead of going over it twice, I just came back in with the darkest color and added little dots to the darkest part of the bear just to add a little bit of texture to the bear. Next, I'm going to color in my coconuts. So I did stamp two of them because I thought maybe there'd be one for each critter. And those colors are E79, E77, and E74. And as you can see throughout the coloring process, I do have those colors listed up on the top so that you can pause the video at any time to write those colors down. So I did go over that twice adding shading to the sides and the bottom of the cup. I'll then move on to coloring my beach ball. So I wanted to keep these really nice, fun summer colors. So I went with some bright pink and bright greens. I did YG23 and YG03. I added the darkest color to the top and the bottom of the stripes on the beach ball, keeping the highlight area in the middle. I thought that just kind of made the ball look nice and shiny. And then I did the same thing with the pink, which is RV14 and RV23. I did the darkest part at the top and the bottom, leaving that highlight right in the middle. I also colored in that seashell in my pink colors for my uh, either suntan lotion or sunblock. I did BG49 and BG43. And for the blanket, uh, the beach towel. I did this really simple, no shading. I just threw in the two different colors uh, from the green and the pink collection that I had used. So I just kept that super simple because I knew one of my critters was going to be laying on top of it anyway. So now for the beach umbrella, I did the same colors and the same technique that I had done on the beach ball. I did the darkest to the top and the bottom of the umbrella. And then I did go back over it twice to kind of blend that out a little bit and make that highlight area uh, kind of pop a little bit more from the card. And same thing with the pink. The darkest would be towards the top and the bottom and then blending up into it, leaving that highlight in the middle. And I did come back later and color in uh, the stand for the beach umbrella. So I did do that later. I did catch myself there. Once I finished my coloring, you can see all of the images are colored in, but I didn't end up using them all. I'm going to take the coordinating die and just hold them in place with some low tack tape, and then I'll run these through my die cut machine. So here's a look at all of the images that I had colored and die cut out. 
Now we're going to move on to actually making the card. So I did a lot of die cutting in the beginning. I'm taking a piece of mermaid cardstock that I cut in half. So at five and a half, I have the two pieces here. I'm going to die cut out my base of my center picture window. And then I'll also die cut out the actual window portion there you can see on the right hand side. So I'm just going to hold that down again with the low tech tape, run these through my die cut machine. And it does provide the score lines in the middle and for the tabs at the end. It may be kind of hard to see on screen, but they're definitely there for you. Then I'm going to take this part that's going to actually cut out our window for us. So the metal line in the middle, you line that up with the score line that's in the middle of your window piece there. You run that through your machine, it'll die cut out perfectly in the center of your picture window. And you're still gonna have your score lines there at the top and the bottom. So there's a look at uh, a start of our card so far. I'm gonna continue on with getting some die cutting done for my card. So this is the Peacock cardstock, and I'm using a couple of the inserts. I thought this was a great contrasting color to the Mermaid cardstock. So I ran those two through the machine. I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna use them yet, but I have them ready if I do. Now I'm moving on to creating some uh, background piece and insert pieces for my card. So I took a piece of white cardstock, trimmed them all to four and a quarter by five and a half, and then I'm taking the stitched cloud backdrop, and this is the landscape. And I'm running these through my die cutting machine, so I have these all ready. You would probably save paper if you have the portrait style one, but I only have the landscape one out of this backdrop. Now I'm going to take the center picture window add-on, and I'm trimming out of that stitched cloud backdrop that we created. So I have the two panels that are going to go on the inside of our card. And now this square piece is actually a rectangle piece is actually for the front of our card. So like I said, if you had the landscape piece, you would probably save yourself some paper, you'd be able to fit more out of it. But I just have, I'm sorry, this is the landscape. If you had the portrait, you would be able to get more out of this. So there I have my front piece done, my two panels, and I had also taken the center picture window and die cut that as well. Continuing on with uh, completing my die cutting, I took some craft cardstock and I die cut these hills three times out of that, and this is from the shadow box die. So I'm going to just set those off on the side. I'm going to come back to them in a moment. Now I have cilantro cardstock. I wanted palm trees in my backgrounds. So I'm gonna die cut those palm tree tops three times. I wanted three palm trees. And that is from the hammock and trees die set. And I will also take the coconuts and the trunks of the trees. The trunks are cut from paper bag cardstock and the coconuts are from chocolate bar. Now to add just a little bit more interest to these die cut pieces, I am taking some freshly cut grass ink and a blending brush, and I'm just gonna blend at the outer edges. You may not notice it as much, but I think it does add just a little bit of something extra to the card to make that pop a little bit more. So this is purely by choice. I just think it was really nice to have that con contrasting color with the cilantro cardstock. And I'll do the same thing for the trunks of the trees. I'm taking the walnut, car uh, walnut ink and just lightly blending on one side of those trunks. So it'll have a little bit of a darker area there. I didn't do the coconuts because those were just way too small. Now back to my hills that I had die cut, which is actually going to be my sand. So I took that walnut cardstock, and I'm, or I'm sorry, walnut ink, and I'm just lightly blending on the top of those hills. So that's gonna be my sandy beach. So just darkest on the top, and then just giving a little bit of light pressure as I get down towards the bottom of this piece. Then I'll take the walnut ink, kind of spread that down onto my glass mat here. I'm gonna spritz some water down, mix that in with a paintbrush, and then I'm just going to flick my paintbrush off of an acrylic block, and this is gonna add some splatters to the sand, just to give that a little bit of texture look as well. And I'm also going to do this with white. So I'm taking the Yeti ink and I just put a little bit down on my mat, the same as I did with the walnut ink. Now you can use paint, you can use watercolor, whatever you have that is white, or you can use a gel pen. 
and also to the smaller brush you have, the finer dots you're going to get. So mine was a really fine paintbrush. I'm almost getting a mist of this white. The bigger paintbrush, you're going to get bigger splatter marks. Or like I said, if you wanted to use a white gel pen, that would work as well. So then I'll just put those off on the side to dry for a little bit. Now I'm going to move on to some of the assembly of the cards. So my uh, palm trees were ready. All I need to do is put them together. I'm adding a little bit of the liquid glue to the top of the tree and then attaching that tree top and the coconut. So I'll do that for all three of them. And now I'm taking these panels that we had die cut earlier from the center picture window add-on. Those have the stitched cloud on them. And I'm taking the sand that we had created and I'm using that add-on panel die to die cut out my sand. That way the stitching is going to line up perfectly and I'm gonna put it right at the bottom of this cloudy backdrop. So you can see everything lines up and they don't go up very high. They were just a perfect fit. And then I can start adding in my scene to these little panels and it's actually surprising how much you can get on these little panels. So I'm adding two palm trees to the one side, just attaching those with the liquid glue. And I know they overhang and I'll take care of that in just a moment. On the other side, I'm gonna start bringing in some of the pieces that we had colored and die cut. So I'm using the umbrella and then I can add my little coconut drink. And I'm also going to bring in the seashell. And this is really personal preference where you wanna put your items um, or if you even wanna have anything on them. I thought this was just a really great scene builder for that center picture window. So the beach ball and the lotion or sunblock <laughs> and the sunglasses I thought was a really, really neat little touch to the by the beach ball. Then I can just take some scissors and I'm gonna snip off any of that overhang. And that'll make our uh, base close nice. Those won't get in the way then. So the panels are ready to go. I'm going to work on folding up some of our pieces on those score lines. So this is our base that we created out of the mermaid cardstock. I'm just folding it in half and I'm gonna crease that really well with my bone folder. And you can see then also uh, we had cut the front panel, so that's going to fit right on the front of the card. Then we can take the window part. We're going to fold on those score lines. And I'm going to, again, use my bone folder to just crease those down, make sure they're just really nice and creased. And then these tabs on the side, I'm just going to kind of push in with my fingertips or my fingernails. And then I can come in with that bone folder and just really crease those down. I want to make sure those are really nice and flat. And I'll do that on both ends of this. Now, earlier we had cut a clouded background out of white cardstock using that same die that cut the window here for us. So what I had gone ahead and done just to save a little bit of time is I trimmed off the tabs. You can see here, I trimmed off the tabs so it's gonna fit perfectly right inside. I really liked using that die to do this for the background because my score lines are going to match up. I didn't have to do any measuring. So I just added some adhesive to that. I'm gonna line up my score line on my cloud background to the score line that's on my base. And then I'll fold that over and just give that a really good push and make sure that that's stuck down really well. So this is gonna be the background behind our window. I'm also going to go ahead and just fold those tabs over from the inserts that I had die cut earlier. I still wasn't quite sure where I was gonna put them yet or what I was gonna do with them, but at least I'm gonna have them ready. So just folding that in half along that score line and then folding those tabs down and reinforcing those creases with the bone folder. So this is one of the sandy beaches that we had created. I'm taking that T-shaped die that's in that center picture window and I ran that through the die cut machine. It's just gonna crease it right in the middle because this is gonna go in the front of our window and these score lines are going to match up. So I'm adding some double-sided adhesive to the bottom of my window. That way nothing is going, I'm not gonna have any adhesive poking past my window and it won't stick. And then I can just add that sandy beach to the front. I'm gonna go ahead and add my fox. 
to the beach blanket and I'm going to do the same thing. You want to make sure that the score part is face down so that it creates that score line on here for you. This is going to make sure our fox is lined up with that score line as well. That way it can fit across my window. So this will be in the front of my window. You can see that is fitting perfectly. And I also took some double sided tape, added that to the bottom of that beach blanket, lined up my score lines, and then just folded that over. So I love how I'm able to incorporate some of these larger images onto that center picture window scene. Then folding over those tabs and taking the double sided tape, adding that tape to those tabs, and I'm going to do it for the inserts as well. That way those are ready for if I need them. Now I'm going to attach one of the sides of this. So what you'll do is remove the backing of that double sided adhesive just on the right hand side of your center picture window. Fold over that flap so it's face down, lining up my score lines, and then I can push down on that right hand side. So I just have the one side attached right now. I'm still debating what I'm going to do on the inside so I don't want to attach that quite yet but I wanted to get this started. Since I was still kind of in a debate, I'm gonna go ahead and add my panels and I'm just using a tape runner to do that. I was still kind of up in the air if I wanted to have the inserts, if I wanted to add the beach or water. So while I was kind of uh, debating about all of that, I can at least finish putting the rest of my card together. So I'm loving those white clouds with the sandy beach. I thought it was just something kind of different and neat and it looks really great against the mermaid cardstock. I did go ahead and attach that, attach that front panel as well. I did to add some water behind my beach scene here. So I'm using the Stitch Simple Wavy Border, cutting that out of Peacock cardstock and then taking that window die and die cutting that piece. That just makes it so it's gonna fit perfectly behind my window. And I did just trim off the tabs and actually just a smidgen shorter so that way uh, it fit perfectly back there. And I just used a tape runner to attach that. So I have the sky in the background with the clouds and then I have the water and then my beach in the front of the card. I did take one of the inserts and I removed the backing on the right hand side lining my score lines up and then I can attach that right side down. So then I'm just going to uh, fold those in half where those score lines are, bring my tabs out and then I can remove the adhesive of those tabs from the double sided tape. Then I'll take the front and just close that all together. And that's going to attach all of our tabs and when we open it up we're going to have this great picture window scene. I think this is genius. I love it. I cannot wait to create other scenes with this. To finish off the card, I just need to add a sentiment. So I had die cut out an outside in speech bubble from Peacock cardstock. I originally thought I would have the bear uh, with this speech bubble, but then I decided not to use the bear. So I just have the speech bubble. I'm prepping the cardstock with an anti-static powder tool. And then I'm taking the sentiment and I'm inking it up with a Lawn Fawn Clear ink. And I'm just stamping down ever so lightly. I'm not pushing very hard. These are very skinny letters. So if you push too hard, you can kind of squish your stamps and then it's not going to read very well. So just gentle pushes. I would rather stamp it two or three times versus one really hard push. So then I sprinkled on the Lawn Fawn White Embossing Powder and heat set that. I'm attaching that speech bubble to the front of the card and I'm going to actually hide that little speech bubble part with my palm tree and a coconut drink since I still had some left over from when I had colored everything. And I really actually like that oval look on the front of the cover. It kind of matches what's going to be seen on the inside. And I'll just use the Lawn Fawn glue to hold those down. You could use foam squares if you wanted, but I thought this card had a lot of dimension to, um, already, so I didn't want to add any more to it. There is a lot of layers to this. It is kind of bulky, but I do plan on giving this to a teacher. I think they would really enjoy this, and they end up putting them on their desk. I see them in their office, so I love giving these to people. 
So here we have this, have a relaxing summer, and you open it up to this really great beach scene. I had thought about adding something to the ocean in the back. I did have some other pieces, but there was so much going on, and I just really loved the way it looked like this. So I just kept the ocean in the background, just simple, and opening up to the waves and the sky in the background. And I love the white clouds. I thought that was just something really different instead of having uh, the blue skies or ink blending on it. Kind of simple colors. And then that pop of the pink and green. I hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll give this center picture window die a try. Thanks so much for stopping by and have an amazing day.